Hello everybody, my name is Jacob with MustContainMinis.com and today we're looking at the Hellbringer Drake by Parabellum Games. This model comes from the Dwagholm faction for their game Conquest. This faction is actually the dwarfs within the gaming system. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Upon opening the box, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to start by showing you the frames. This is going to go fast, so if you want a closer look, make sure you pause the video while I talk about the sprues. So here we have the giant cannons that mount onto the dinosaur, or the Hellbringer Drake. Here we have the body of the creature. Then we have some pieces for the throne that goes on top. We have the legs. We have a frame with more parts for the model, as well as the dwarfs and the head of the drake. I chose to build the heads first, followed by the dwarfs. These dwarfs look really great, and I even got a really nice Instagram photo out of them. Now let's build that throne. While building the model, something came up and I had to go to my second location, so there's going to be a change of background. First I built up the throne, and then I built up the drake. I really like that they give you two different heads that you can choose from. It gives you a little bit of variety in how you can build this model. Now I chose to take a look at it with one head and then I dry fit it on the other head. I didn't glue them down, but I will tell you that when you build these, make sure you are careful with how you take care of the tongue. There's a little tongue that goes in between the parts of the mouth and if you don't put it in quite right, the head is hard to fit on. So with the second head here, I didn't quite fit it on right, but I still made it work. I then dry fitted the throne onto the model and came across another mistake that I made. Now looking on the directions, they actually tell you to glue those cannons onto the model before you place it onto the drake. I thought, you know what, those cannons, they look a little heavy, I'm going to try it a little different. So instead of following the directions, I decided to glue them on afterwards. But that was a mistake because they did not hold well. Instead, I ended up coming up with inventive ways to hold the model parts up while I let the glue dry. I ended up having to do that with both sides of the model. With the cannons firmly attached, I decided that I would glue on the commander. Likewise with him, I had to make sure that I held him in place while the glue dried. I used my assembly handle to get that done. The two cannon operators I decided not to glue on at this time, but rather to make them parts that I can take in and out of the model. The reason for this is because they actually look kind of hard to paint the details around the operator if I glued them into place. So they will get glued into the model once it is all painted. I have some scale comparison images coming up as well as a coupon code that can save you money if you're interested in this product. But first, let me show you how this model looks once you get it all built. Overall, it's a very nice model, and perhaps I'm dating myself by saying this, but to me, the cannon loaders look like a mix between football players and the Legion of Doom. Riding a creature called the Hellbringer Drake, I think that is appropriate regardless. There are some really nice details on the model. From the look of the Drake, up to the cannon and even into the throne. There's a lot of intricate work on the throne, including some flames that are tilting backwards to indicate motion on the model as it moves forward. Build-wise, this is a fairly simple and straightforward model. I didn't have too many difficulties, aside from the ones that I outlined during this video. Now, let's take a look at how it stacks up versus some Space Marine miniatures. This model is ginormous. Take a look at this. This is a Primaris Space Marine. The dwarfs are actually a fair bit bigger than the Space Marine model. To give you an even better idea of how truly gigantic this model is, let's take a 28mm Chaos Space Cultus and put it in front of the model. Take a look at that size difference. It is massive. For those of you who are a little more into historical games, let me show you the size difference between this model, the Hellbringer Drake, and some World War II miniatures by Wargames Atlantic. These are 28mm, closer to true scale miniatures, and look at the size difference. 
the Hellbringer Drake is a very large model. If you're looking to mix up your models for different gaming systems, this might be important for you to know. But if you're just planning to use these miniatures by Parabellum to play Conquest, then the size really shouldn't be an issue. Now I promised you a coupon code, so if you look in my description below this video, then you will find a link to Parabellum. And if you use that link, as well as the code MCM, you'll save yourself 10% off of your first purchase. As an alternative, there's also links to Wayland Games down there. Now both the links to Parabellum and to Wayland Games will earn Muscantine Minis a small commission if you end up buying products from them. This is a way to help out the channel and to get yourself something nice at the same time at no extra cost to you. We really appreciate it. Special thanks goes to Parabellum for sending me a review product of this Hellbringer Drake. If you haven't been to their site for a while, head on over and take a look at their e-store. There are so many new products there right now, and they are all so very interesting. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming everyone!